So you know me and my cars. So I've got the Ford Edge and maybe I shared with you previously, I went and took it to Ugo, my favorite AC guy. And he says, you know, you gotta, you gotta replace these fans as a complete set on the, for the for the radiator fans because, because it comes with plastic and holds two separate fans together. And I said, well, can I get just one, <laughs> right? Because he told me and I called around, it was like 8,000 pesos, 6,000 pesos at, you know, the providers that they had here in town. And so uh, he recommended contacting a place called Tonio Rosas. And that is here in Cinco de Sembre. And it's a little automotive shop that they have here. And so I came here and talked to other guys. And they, they actually had it. And it's funny because, you know, typically the price is the price. But here they go, okay, yeah, we have it's like when I called 6,000 pesos. And then I got here and they go, oh, 5,800. And, and then, you know, it basically got down to like, okay, 5,000 pesos. It was the correct piece, uh, you know, the, the radiator fans and the support there. But I said, well, if I go online, you guys know me, rockauto.com. I love me some rockauto.com. Rockauto.com, it's 150 bucks, right? Plus shipping. I was on my way to Florida. I went to Florida, saw my lovely aunt and uncle. Uh, had it shipped ahead along with a whole lot of other stuff, which you might remember became an issue when that bag was mischecked and one of the radiator things, a uh, different radiator thing went to, uh, to Cabo on vacation without me. Anyways, so uh, got it, was about 150 bucks, so let's say, I don't know, like 3,500 pesos, and I got like the good quality one, the one I knew that was good quality. Here at Tony Rosas, they had one, I didn't know what the quality was, right? I'm sure it worked for a while, but I'd rather go ahead and spend the money and get one that's gonna go ahead and last me, you know, probably closer, let's say, five, 10 years, something like that. The one, you know, than the cheapy, cheapy one, which might only last two, three years, but probably longer. So I go ahead, bring it back here, uh, you know, talk to Hugo. He's like, yeah, I can change it, drop the car off. You know, it's gonna be 800 pesos. And I looked online, I go, I can do this. And I was able to actually change it out in about an hour. So I had to drain out about a liter, for me, a gallon of antifreeze I had just put in because whenever you replace your antifreeze, something goes wrong with your cooling system and you're gonna to have to drain it and put it up. So I drained it very carefully into a clean container uh, and then went ahead and took off the top hose, pulled out the fans, put in the new fan assembly and then connected the hose and then topped it, put, topped it back off with that same fluid. So with the old fans, I like to keep it around the house, but then of course, you know, my significant other goes, what do you have that for? What do you need that for? I don't know what I'm gonna need some radiator fans for. Maybe we're gonna need some ventilation or something, actually. Okay, one radiator fan, this one's broken, right? So anyways, uh, I was given the ultimatum, no, can't keep my uh, broken semi-used car parts here at home anymore. So I came back here to Tony Rose, says it's funny, I drive up and I go, hey, I got this, you guys remember me? And they go, oh, yeah, you know, I got I got the fan assembly. You want it? They go, the calf? I go, yeah, you know, hopefully you can use it because I can't keep it at home. And they go, yeah, sure. And so the guy's super happy with the workers. He came, got it, and I just watched as we're doing the video right here. He removed the working fan and he put it actually into his own locker. So I don't know. I think you, sometimes you'll see those fans like on the buses. If you ever get on like the city bus, the older city buses, and the driver has literally has like a, a hardwired radiator fan right above him just blow in full-on air back over him so i guess i could have kept it for that but right now i'm excited because i have the jimmy my legalized finally after 18 freaking years legalized that jimmy and now i'm just dumping tons of money into it because i don't have to worry about being seized or having any issues or anything like that not that anybody was going to see his 86 Jimmy, although one time I got a little hassled. Um, and so that's with Hugo right now, the AC guy. And uh, he's uh, he's pretty proud. He, he says, you need a new evaporator, the thing in the in the front by the radiator and some tubes. And so I, when I went to Florida, I brought those back. And then you get here and he goes, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, uh, the compressor is kind of dirty. If you, we, you reuse it, it's going to and CCR contaminate the, the system, the new system. And I go, all right, rockauto.com, about 100 and how much was it? $190, $80. And I said, screw it, I want a new compressor, new filter, 
and I got the new evaporator thing, whatever goes on the inside of the car. Got one of those too, and uh, it arrived, and it was 900 pay, roughly 900 pesos tax. So, you know, I don't know what their peso evaluation was, but I worked out with my work out roughly 22% tax. So typically you're gonna see somewhere between 16, 19, 22. Maybe what they do sometimes is they make a mistake and they tax you on the shipping, but they're really only supposed to tax you on the on the product good value. So that's probably what happened is I probably got taxed on the shipping. So it probably was probably closer to like 16, 19%, something like that. Anyways, five minutes. This video is going too long, but now you know the details. Hopefully the Jimmy will be ready soon and you'll see me blasting around in my green beast and my green go. And, uh, you know, wave, say hi, honk. You know, and uh, we'll see you around. Thanks for watching Past Plays TV. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, if you have questions, you need assistance, you have comments on your own interesting mechanic stories or something like that, please share them in the comments. We love to go ahead and uh, make this a learning experience as well as, you know, a community experience of sorts. All right. Take care. Best from Pat.